Hey there, it's Pastor T with another Psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And this week we are reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord, Psalm 146. Our Learn by Heart Antiphon is verse 5. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home, or to listen as I read. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Blessed is the one whose help and hope is the Lord, because the Lord can actually take it. Psalm 46 enjoins us, like so many of the Psalms do, to put our trust in the Lord. But it makes an interesting contrast, because sometimes we just have those calls to trust in God, because he is worthy of all praise and, and worthy of our confidence. But Psalm 146 goes one step further and says, who not to put your trust in. Verse 3 says, Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. In other words, don't put, place your hope in those who are your leaders. Don't look to them as, as to be your ultimate help. As much as we might be tempted to in this earthly life, to look to whether it be presidents or kings or even churchly leaders, the psalm is telling us, look, don't place your trust there because they will let you down. History tells of one tale after another of the, the failed hopes that people have placed into their worldly and earthly leaders. To the contrary, put your trust in the Lord. Let him be your hope and your help because he can actually bear that weight, the burden of our leadership and all of our hopes and fears. And I love just the, the way that Psalm 146 rattles off. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. He executes justice for the oppressed. He gives food to the hungry. Now, as you're saying that, and as you're praying that, I hope that that has resonance for you with another one. Not a mere worldly prince or a mere earthly son of man, but indeed the son of man, the prince of peace. Psalm 146 lays out for us what looks like an outline of the ministry of our Lord Jesus, the one who does set the prisoners free, the one who does lift up those who are bowed down, the one who does feed the hungry. See, Christ Jesus is the one who comes and says, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Our Lord Jesus is able to take the burdens of all of our hopes and fears. He is our help in time of need, and he is the one to whom we ought to look in all of our trials. Look, in this world that's so tempting to want to look to, governments to look to, pastors to look to, any number of peoples to be the source of our confidence and security, but ultimately we can find that in God alone. So as we pray Psalm 146 this week, let's pray for our leaders. Let's entrust them to God's care and ask for them to be godly, righteous guides throughout this earthly sojourn. But ultimately, let's allow the psalm to lead us to place our trust, our hope, and our help in the God of Jacob. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you sent your son Jesus, the Prince of Peace, who comes and whom all the hopes and fears of all the years are met. Lord, we pray that we would look to him to be our help 
And we do pray, Lord, that you would lead and guide leaders of this world, our government, our president, and all those whom you have appointed to provide leadership in this age. Lord, we pray that you would uphold them with your strong right hand and that we would honor them as it is fitting for God's people to do. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now may you go forth this week looking to the Lord who is your help and hope. Go in his peace. Amen.